Okay, my name is uh, Jerry Alangilan and I, I write and draw comic books. I also ink comic books for uh, Marvel and sometimes DC Comics. Ooh. This is from Voltar by Alfredo Alcala. No. Imagine Philippine comics in the 60s look like this. This is uh, by an artist called Kagintuan, another Francisco Vicuching image from UIY. He influenced a lot of uh, local artists tulad, tulad ni na Nestor Redondo. Na Alfredo Alcala, a lot of the artists who became popular in the U.S. Their work was collectively known as the Filipino style internationally. They give us an identity as Filipinos. Japanese has the manga style and Europeans have the clear line style and Americans have the bombastic style. The Filipinos had their own style That's that we can be proud of. You know? And uh, we were able to achieve that. Uh, on our own. Andun yung mga estilo nila Nestor Redondo, Putsing, at saka Alcala na kumisan eh talagang nakakatakot. Ibig sabihin, nakakawalang gana. Gusto mo, ayaw mo na mag-drawing pagka nakita mo yung mga drawing nila. Parang parang hindi mo kaya. This is uh, artwork by Alex Nino and uh, one of the psychedelic works of Alex Nino. And uh, Alex Nino hindi masyadong na-accept dito sa Philippines kasi masyadong wild yung gawa niya. And yung mga editor, editor sabi sa kanya, sa US ka na lang magtrabaho. Dito ako naka, nakapag-re-request na gusto kong ano, gusto kong script na hindi eh, ko alam kung ito. <laughs> <laughs> Dahil basta ito, illustration, illustra illustration na kahit na walang lapis, ang ano mo, basta pag blank paper ang nakita mo, para nakikita mo na rin nakaguhit yung sketch mo ron. Yun naman tagal ko na pinapractice, kaya ito ginawa na walang lapis. Okay, so what you have to do there is what you got to do, you got to do layouts. And what layouts are, are just rough representations of, of, uh, of the figure, of the form. Like here, uh, this is the cool hero shot. So I'm going to draw the hero standing up straight and tall and proud. And, and uh, a pretty sexy maybe mananga, manananggal behind him or something. If you think about it, he might have been, most probably, the first uh, Pinoy comic book creator to like introduce the rest of the world to Manananggal, Duende, and Chanak. I love this work in X Factor and The Punisher. We were, we were, we were buying those things and we just, you know, oh, Will Spertash, okay, so, you know, cool artist. He might be Japanese. <laughs> hey, Will! How you doing? Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Oh, okay. And you get better all the time. You're I'm right. trying to be a pretty as you. But I was just mentioning, there must be something in the air in the Philippines. There are so many It never occurred to me that Portasho was a Pinoy name. Because he always signed his works in Japanese characters. When you're on work, you're one of the greatest, and I'm very flattered that I was asked to say a few words about you. Well, thank you. Somehow it just filled me with that foolish dream of, hey, if a Pinoy can get there, that means I can get there too. <laughs>